Hello YouTube, Jedimon2005 here with the review of SH Figure Arts Libra Zodiarts from Kamen Rider Forza, our second horoscope. Second Zodiart is Libra, the principal, who was also in a previous life. Tashban San! Um, <clears throat> but here he's Libra. So we can see, just like with Scorpio's box, we've got the silhouetted Zodiart here with the constellation. I got Libra constellation up here, the space background, Libra Zodiarts. Um, the name again down here, Forza logo. Um, there's their, no, oh, there it is, the Bandai Collector Shop logo, because the rest of these are exclusives. Name on the top, name on the sides. On the back, we see him with his staff, which is called the Dyke. I'm not, not making that up. Uh, him again with his lantana and cockroachy design. And then him with his cloak, just like Scorpion. So, let's, uh, let's get right down to business. So, just like Scorpion, we have two trays. Back tray with the cloak. Um, front tray with this staff, him, and some hands, and a Zodiart switch, which we'll see right there. So let's go ahead and get um, the principal out, and hopefully he won't give us attention. So, here he is, right, ooh, that, oh, that's cool, I like that on the front there. His head's turned, oh wow, okay. Pretty neat, actually. I kind of like them. So here's the Zodiart switch, um, just like the one that came with Scorpion. Right, it's got the red button. No painted design on it, but so we got that. Um, here's his his dike staff. Right, it's got these little chains on it. So which I like. I like that. I think it's really cool. I've always liked his staff. He likes to jam it into the ground and make the noise. Um, so let's take a look at the figure. Um, so here is, make sure there's no extra, any kind of plastic sticking on that I didn't see, nope. So here's Libra, right, we can see his head, um, right here with the antenna, um, these antenna are movable like that, you see, um, other than that I don't think they move though, but you've got the head right here inside the little eye, at the face, these ear looking things, they don't move, um, his big blue star, and then the other stars on his body. Um, like I said, we saw when I first took him out, he's got these chains on him. Those are pretty neat. Um, his shoulders and uh, all this fun ornamentation, more stars. And his legs down here looking really neat. On the back, we got these, the wings, or what? not wings, but they look like wings, like if they were a cockroach. Um, the back stars, right, got a star over here and here and stuff. Um, Articulation-wise, his head, right, can turn. Uh, these go with it. Um, as you'd expect, uh, arms, right? At you know, with this, and this is with all without the cloak because the cloak is going to stop it all. Um, arms and legs, pretty unhindered, um, which is good, you know. Um, that's always good. So, let's go ahead, get the cloak pieces out. So we've got the back piece with the Libra symbol there and the front piece right there and then sleeves so is, is there an L and an R I think it has to be this way yep okay so this is what we're gonna do um we're going to to put them all we're gonna put the sleeves on first so we're gonna pull off his shoulder pad right and we're going to open this and we're going to put this around his arm just like this and line it up and close it if we can it's the lining it up part that's the difficult part of this really okay so we've got the arms on right there's that part of the cloak cool now um, we're just going to take the rest of it and put it around his body hopefully not destroying anything in the process okay so the front and the back and again we're gonna have to line it up and I ask you to bear with me on that because it is quite frankly the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life with figure art
I, f I feel like that went well just to spite me. But here... <laughs> okay. His arm... His, why is his arm... Coming? Right, screw it. Okay, so here he is with the hard plastic cloak on. And you can see uh, articulation is going to be basically zero um, in this. Seeing as how he can't move at all. Um, let's try and get the, the dike in his hands. He wants to hold the dike. <laughs> is that like a magical... I think there's a magical way to do this. I don't like magic. Do you believe in magic? No. Just believe! Okay, so we did it. I believed um, in magic, and I got it. And because of the power of editing, no one will know exactly how long that took or how annoying it was. Um, suffice it to say, damn. <laughs> um, but, uh, so, yeah, we got the dike in his hands, we got the cloak on him. Uh, I now, uh, hate my life and <laughs> want him dead in oh so many ways. Um, even more than I did when the show was actually airing. <laughs> but, um... You know, whatever. So, um... It, I mean, the figure's pretty cool. You know, I, I can't say keep the cloaks on because the cloaks are awful like that. But, uh, you know, they're... The, the figure itself is pretty cool. The, the, the horoscopes are pretty neat looking. So, um, you know, if you like the horoscopes, you like Forze, or, you know, if you're like, I want to get the one that's me and you for a Libra, then, you know, by all means, go for it. Um, so until next time, check out the podcast, RiseRangerRambles.com, bring me the latest Toku news in the creative way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!